So now let's create a text control to display our combined matrix, combined transformation matrix, which will combine the rotation and the translation matrices. And it will display it here in the bottom. So this part will be the text control part. Okay. So first of all, let's create in the canvas init method uh, another variable which will be the self that combined underscore matrix and set it initialize it with a with an identity matrix okay so now in the in the on draw method after the Save the translate. I'm going to give it self dot combined matrix equal to matrix forty four dot multiply yes and the self dot rotation on y matrix with the self dot translate. So the combined mat matrix will be the rotation matrix multiplied by the translation matrix. Okay, in the my panel, I'm going to create here that uh, text control. Text control so self dot I'm going to call it log text and it will be weeks dot text uh, control yes parent is self ID and the size will be the size will be 1120 and uh, let's say 110 and its position Its position will start at 0 on X and 630 on Y. Mm, let me see it. Yes, now this white part is our text control. Let's set its background color so save that lock test that background background color uh, to 70 125 and 70 so red green and blue so now it has this light greenish color Okay, now let's append a text to it. So, cell that log test that append text string of self dot canvas that uh, combined matrix. Okay, let me see it. Okay, now we have here 
the matrix displayed which is now for now it's an identity matrix but as you see it's all in one row I want to display it so that first part uh, in the first row this second part in here in this uh, underneath it so here in the text control I'm going to give it a style style equals vx dot te mm, multiline yes okay Let's set its font because it's too small. So here after the background color, so self dot lock test dot set font to font. This font it was created here when we created the labels for the sliders. So I'm going to reuse this font. Mm, now it's better. But as you see, uh, the third and the fourth part of the matrix is not visible. So I'm going to make the window uh, windows height a little bit bigger. And uh, so here, when I create my frame, instead of 720, I'm going to change this to 780. Yes, now the whole matrix is visible. Okay. The second part I'm going to create here in my panel a method which will be the EF log matrix. It doesn't need the event because it's I'm I'm don't going to bind this to a, to an event so self that first of all we are going to uh, <laughs> log test that 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 append text pen text and self that not self that uh, but string of self that uh, canvas that combined matrix okay let me see it log matrix and uh, call this log matrix every time when we translate our our objects, 3D objects, not log test, log matrix, log matrix. Okay, let me see it. Yes. Uh, first we need to clear this text area every time when we update this matrix so log matrix self dot log matrix uh, log text dot clear now yes now, as you see, it displays the 
current translation and it is it is a row major it displays it as a row major so the here is a translation x on x translation on y and translation on the z axis if you want to display it as a column major matrix so the translation here in the last column then 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 we need to give it self that converts the combined matrix dot capital T and here I'm going to give it a capital T as well so now as you see when I move the X when I move the X now the translation is in the last column here in the Y and here in the Z and when I rotate it and I move it, it will display the, the rotation So every time, if you want to refresh, we just need to move this or just click it and it will display the current matrix. The rotation with the translation combined. So, thank you for watching.